What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day, guys. 2021 Panini Flawless Basketball is here and sold out. Pikachu number two this time in a two-box case break. Just remember, guys, there's a little note that Nick wrote down in the item description there. Is if we were to pull the LeBron James triple logo, man, first of all, I'll probably be calling the ambulance and I'll probably be on the way to the hospital with a heart attack. But at least I don't have to do the randomizer because what we're going to do is potentially is we'll discuss the options with all the partial owners of the Lakers, Heat, and Cavs and see what uh, they want to do with that. Just remember, Jaspers doesn't do any majority rules. Uh, we'll randomize it if they all agree they want to do that or if they all want to split it. Just for this special card because I know everyone's really chasing this as a huge bounty. But <laughs> here you go. Here is the customer names I bought in. So you see right here, Jack. This was all these teams here, including the Mavericks, Clippers, Thunder, um, Suns, Wizards, were all in a random number block. But JV actually just sold out the random number block, so that's why I just did that. And as you can see, there is another random number block for these three teams, which of course people bought shares of them. And there you go for Philly, Orlando, and Portland. There's the customer names. And there we go. All right, guys, here we go. Again, we'll use two blanks again to uh, block open these hits. And usually the hit is on the right side, and usually the diamond is on the left side. So we'll cover up both, of course. Alright guys, first one is Isaiah Thomas, 4 out of 15, Detroit Pistons, David B, nice three color patch on the top, top relic, very nice, definitely game used right there, nice, another patch autograph here, another good patch, Goran Dragic for the Heat, Chris Chung got those straight up, 1 out of 15, We have for the Suns, 8 out of 25. That's Jalen Smith, momentous rookie autographs. And Phoenix Suns is part of the random number block that Jack bought, actually. That's straight up yours. All, all to you, Jack. Next one we have is a 3 out of 3, Theo Maladon. And again, another one for you, Jack. That's a purple. Very nice. All right, two teams already hit. We have a Lonzo ball. Wow, for the Pelicans. One out of 15. Very nice signature there, little patch autograph. Pelicans though, straight up Eric bought the Pelicans. Wow. Tyrese Maxey, RPA 7 out of 10, three color patch for the 76ers. That's random number block 7, Andrew. Woo. 
Damn, they didn't even put Maxine encased. The disrespect. Well, that's actually a good thing then, because that means you can get like Maxi and like Lamellos or something like that. There's an R&B hit right there. Three color patch of autographs, seven out of fifteen. Andrew, there you go, man. Then we have another one. Seventy Sixers, ten out of fifteen draft gem signatures. Allen Iverson, the answer. That's gonna go to spot zero. And Eric, wow. Did not expect back-to-back -back Sixers. There we go. Woo! Wow. What a randomizer for the random number block. Cole Anthony. Momentous signatures. And that is card number one out of three. Orlando Magic. Jack. There you go. Join in on the fun. One out of three. Wow, this is probably... I mean, I've only done one case, I guess, but... A lot of rookies in this specific briefcase. You have Cole Anthony, you have Theo Maladon, Jalen Smith, Maxi. Damn. There we go. No, that was a great that was great inside here. I'll tell you that. All right, so again, here we go. Looks like an emerald going to be out of five, potentially. And that is two out of five, De'Aaron Fox. Sacramento Kings is going to Gretchen. Little diamond. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I think it's sideways. Fifteen out of twenty-five, and it is Trey Young. Fifteen out of twenty-five, three-color patch and autograph. Look at that, David, on the board with the Atlanta Hawks. I had a feeling this had to be a veteran, right? Because there was just so many rookies in that first box. Very nice, Trey Young. Yeah, just a little bit, please. I know, right? That Tyrus Maxi is pretty fire. I, I can't believe he's not an encased. I guess with Flawless, it's kind of hard to pick and choose who could be encased or not, right? But I would have pit him as an encased. Maxi and Cole Anthony. But then again, this is what I always tell people. Is that it was kind of a blessing that Flawless was pushed back so far. Or like the high air end products were pushed back so far into the second season for a lot of these rookies because yeah the market has kind of went down for certain rookies that played really well in their first year but the market for some of these second year players like Maxi and Cole Anthony have done really well compared to maybe not playing much or not doing too well in their first season their stock has gone up but what I'm trying to say with that is that like, I guess it shouldn't shock me that they're not in an encased because they pretty much pick and choose who's going to be encased like you know, six, seven months ahead of time. So it's not like they they knew that, like, Cole Anthony would be, like, so good this year, you know? So, it's like, they pretty much pick and choose who's going to be an encased or who's going to be, like, a big chaser. And obviously, they already had that set that it was going to be, like, Ant-Man, Lamelo, you know, Wiseman, etc. Nice, did you really, Josh? Awesome, man. Yeah, I... I well, I won't probably be breaking that, but at least a Joe would be there for sure. And it's already done at 10, so I expect to get that done later with Joe. I will have some random, uh, some uh, hit drafts over there on the Instagram side and personals for you guys a little bit later. 19 out of 20, Mike Conley for the Utah Jazz. David B. We have a 20 out of 25 Calvin Murphy. 
Uh, we have it for, I believe, 12,300. I've seen them as high as like 15,000. So, I mean, <laughs> I, it's, we have them at a pretty decent price. There might be places you might find it a little bit cheaper, but it's pretty, pretty much roughly between like 12 to 15, I think. Is what it, most people have it at. David with Houston. But you just have to remember, you know, you hit the right RPA, I mean, you're like up like 20,000. You know? You hit the LeBron James, like you hit Logo Mans, you make a lot back. Mike Bibby for the Kings. So definitely high risk, but high reward. Daniel Oturu. Four out of 15. That's for the Clippers, which Jack bought out the R&B, so all goes to Jack. And we have a... Nice. What a great randomizer for the R&Bs today. 8 out of uh, 25, RJ Hampton. Three-color patch and autograph that looks like a Denver Nuggets patch. Which sometimes it tells you right there. Yeah, encloses game-worn used material, which was worn and used by as a member of the Denver Nuggets. Which, of course, is still Orlando Magic, though. That's eight. Going to Jack. There you go. Nice break for the R&B. I like that. Gives people, like, uh, <laughs> the strength to get into an R&B. Because it could be them. All right, CJ McCollum for the Blazers. That is also part of the random number block. That's three. Going to Andrew. Andrew with three. I know, Steven. I'm sorry, man. Hopefully, there's still more opportunities for you, buddy. I'm just happy the R&Bs are hitting, because I know it scares people when they're not, so... It gives people the confidence. We have for the Bucks. How about a little Oscar Robinson? 9 out of 15. Bucks, that is going to Alexandros, Poppy. And the last one before the encase cards, a little Vince Carter for the Raptors. Chung with that one. Three out of 25. I know, Lakers haven't. Well, you never know. Lakers could be in the encase, Andrew. You never know. But good thing is that the R&B's hit with that maxi, because that should sell pretty well. It should make up for some of the Lakers' cost. Alrighty. Leg up. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Another emerald. Ooh. Is that colors I like to see? Is that colors I like to see? Oh. What a bummer. Vernon Carey Jr. Diamond, one out of five. Come on, man. They, they put this guy in a diamond encased. Jesus. Ugh, that broke my heart. All right, well, still, that's a hit there for uh, Gretchen. I'm sorry, Card B. Damn, they got me. Jesus. All right, this better be LaMelo on this side. They're going to do that. We have an Anthony Edwards 5 out of 25 for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Woo! Everybody's been saying, haven't seen much Edwards. Well, there you go. Minnesota Timberwolves, Gretchen. There you go. All right, well, we made up for that, Gretch. <laughs> Sweet. There you go. No, I got played. It's like, you oh, see the blue, no. and you see that, and, uh, <laughs> What's that out of? That's out of five. I mean, it's nice, but... Yeah, Edward. But then she had Tim Rolf, so that made up for it. Nice. All right, yeah, there you go. Man, if it was me Daniels, I would have been so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, there you go. Pick your team number two in the books, guys. Um, this is actually a pretty solid case. I mean, I think... I want to say it was a little bit better than the first one. I mean, not only did we get Edwards and stuff like that, but... 
you know, Trey Young on the first half of the case. You know, we got a couple of Emerald Diamonds, but I really feel like the R&B really hit. You know, right? RJ Hampton RPA out of three, Cole Anthony, Allen Iverson, but a Tyrese Maxi RPA. I, I think that was pretty solid. So appreciate it, guys. Remember, pick a team number three is in the store. Uh, we'll try to write a norm block those as soon as we can. Uh, but uh, appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.